We're with Gareth Rogers, the CEO of Farnborough International, the people that run the Farnborough Air Show. Gareth, as we come to the end of this programme, tell us how the show's been for you this week. Well, it's, it's my first Farnborough International Air Show. Uh, I, I personally have had a, a wonderful experience, really enjoyed the experience, but for the show as a whole has been a real success. You know, it's been, uh, it's brought the aerospace community and world together and, you know, that's shown by the, the number of orders and the number of conversations and all those great things, such as Finn as well, that's been going on. So let's look at some of that. You know, I mean, you, the, the visitor journey, what's that been like? You've, you've seen it and seen it for your first time yourself. How's that? How's that working and how does that tie into what you're planning to do? Well, it's something that we have worked incredibly hard on over the, the, the last two years since the previous show. It's something that we feel very passionate about, about how people arrive at the show. And it's been, an, you know, there's been an inordinate amount of change put in place. And hopefully people have seen that. And the comments we're getting back is that um, it's been a successful one. So. Okay. Let's look at, um, as well, with the airline customers. They've been coming in and, and placing orders. How's that working? Well, the airline customer has always been here, um, but they've never actually been prominent. They've never been front and center. With our, with our airline CEO summit that we held on Monday, you know, we had eight key airline CEOs and uh, speaking about the future of, of where airlines are going. And it's really great to actually have the end customer sitting prominently in the show rather than just in the background going around the chalets and doing the orders. So. And what about the... Um the sales figure, because shows are, are, are often judged by the amount of business that's signed off and done. How's this show been this year? It's, it's tremendous. <laughs> it's, uh, you know, the figures really have been, uh, you know, off the chart from what we expected. You know, whilst the figures are not the highest they've ever been, if you put it in the context, there's there's over fourteen thousand aircraft already in order before we started the show. It's that's the highest the, the aerospace market has seen nine years worth of order, and then on top of that. I think yesterday we were at 180 billion. There's more to come. Um, you know, that's, it's a quite staggering figure when you put it into that context of, of, of where the market was already sitting before we got to Monday. One of the great things about the Farnborough Show this year appears to be the number of international organizations that are here. Yeah. It's, it's been our most international show ever. You know, we've had 29 country pavilions, 70% of our exhibitors are, are international. We've had nearly 100 countries come. And, um, you know, just look at a big participation. Our Chinese participation is up 70%. Our U.S. participation is the largest it's ever been. And um, that really goes to demonstrate the international nature of this air show. It's, it's, a, it's, it's the world's air show. It's business is done here, and it brings everybody together. Now, one of the big issues through the week has been Brexit. What do you think the impact's going to be on your show going forward and, and really the industry? Well, well, it's a conversation that certainly happened quite a few times over the last week. It's, you know, whenever I've, I've spoken to, to any journalists or media, it seems to be the conversation that comes up. And, it, you know, it's not going to go away until we have some certainty. So, you know, to take your industry point, I think that seems to be the, the common theme we're hearing is let's get some certainty so we can make long-term investment decisions. You know, whatever that certainty may be, and everybody has a slightly different opinion as to what they're trying to, to aim for, just give us those parameters. And from the air show's perspective, you know, we, we've already talked about the fact that um, it's our most international show ever. It, it doesn't seem to have made an impact, but we don't expect it to make an impact because aerospace is such a pan-global industry. It's, it's not just focused on Europe. It is an industry that goes across the globe and continues to grow across the globe. Now, this weekend, you clear the desk. It's all finished for 2018. And probably, I guess, Monday morning, you start on 2020. So what's going to happen with Farm Air Show in two years' time? Um, look, we, one of the big things we do is, like you said, we sit down and review the show. We speak to customers. We always try to get their understanding. We've spent the last couple of days you know, having those meetings. And we've got to try to get everyone visiting all the stands. And then the key thing is we, talk, we keep it relevant. You know, it's got to be relevant in the industry, understand what industry is trying to achieve and not just put, do what we did the previous year just because we did it. You know, we've got to keep it, it looking forward. So, you know, will we have, you know, this, this flying taxes and flying cars seems to be a big conversation. Space continues to grow. You know, it, those sort of conversations is if they become more and more prominent over the next couple of years, we'll put them center of the show as we did with Innovation 4.0 this year. Gareth, thank you very much for joining us. Not a problem. Thank you. Thank you.